Yeah. Uh huh. You know who it is. Speedy Temple, Speedy Temple, Speedy Temple. Uh. -huh. Hey everyone, my name is Speedy Tempo, and today I'm reacting to episode one of a very new audio drama series called Trust of a Friend, or The Trust of a Friend, by Celestia, who actually, if you saw my last video, she's the voice of Celestia in The Lover's Stone. And this is her audio drama, which she started herself, and I don't really have any idea what it's about. I just know that. It's made by Sunlestia, and it's sometimes called Tofu by some people who work on it. So I have no idea what to expect, so let's just get into it. And this time I actually downloaded the video first so I can watch it without YouTube's ads being in the way. So let's start in 3, 2, 1, now. The following production is a My Little Pony Friendship is Magic based audio drama that was written before season 5 was aired. Any continuity error should be just be accepted as part of being in an alternate universe. Enjoy the episode. Okay. I got the book opening, Once Upon a Time. This is the land of Equestria. Yes, it is. Harmony had fallen upon us after the defeat of t and the ascension of Princess Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> a friend had learned a valuable lesson. New adventures were waiting to take the ponies upon their waves, and new magical discoveries had been made. However, one day, the land grew dark. A new oh. danger, a new chaos was approaching Equestria. A conquest that would leave our saviors in a quandary. But has a new threat truly arisen? Or has a friend we've known and loved betrayed us all? This oh, not again. is the story of the trust of a friend. Okay, so it's a Celestia, Luna, and Discord based story. Audio drama projection. Production by Celestia. Production. What are they trying to say? <laughs> and I have no I have no idea who's voicing who in this series either. I mean, I, I, I would guess that Celestia is voicing Celestia. But I have no idea about anyone else, so. Starring Chip of the Unicorn from S. Twilight Sparkle. I remember her from uh, Remembrance. Not me. That's Fluttershy. I never heard of her. Life of Cloud Nine is Rio Dash. I know her. Quirky Craft is Pinkie Pie. That's new one to me. Whoopkeek is Applejack. Definitely know her. And Nami is Rarity. Okay. So she plays both Flesh High and Rarity. Merp Queen VA is Spike. That's a new name I've never heard of before. Celestia, of course. Tony Bronisa's Discord. Okay. That's something I definitely know. I, I forgot. I think, he, I think he mentioned that he was in this. I just completely forgot. Oh, this is Cloudy's uh, well, art. Almost there. Oh, what is it? Twice? A new bed? Maybe some more gemstones, sapphires, even? <laughs> even better! Books. Alright, here we are, Spike. How about one last final guess before I show you? Oh, uh, okay. Um, something. I don't know. That has the 
do with our old home? Right on! Ta-da! <gasps> I was right. <laughs> the art books. Oh. That was a, it's a plate. Whoa, Twilight! This is amazing! It's so shiny! And pretty! And huge! Whoa! There's a chandelier here, too! I like how pointy spikes are. There are. It's almost as much as the Canterlot Library! Ooh, a dragon storybook. <laughs> dragon tail, if you would. Awesome! I gotta read this book sometime. This is awesome! Thanks, Twilight! Oh, you're welcome, Spike. I thought that since this is our new home, we should personalize it. Make this castle our own special place. Make this That's castle a so home, cute. if you would. <laughs> but one question. Where did you get all these books? Oh, yes. Well, after Princess Celestia saw what happened to the books in our old library, she decided to give me copies of the books in the Canterlot Library. Now everything feels just like home. We should go show <laughs> our friends. Uh, oh, yeah. I almost forgot. I have one last final surprise for you. They are all coming over to the library today to see it. They haven't even seen it yet, and they're going to be so surprised. Oh, nice. When are they coming over? Oh, they'll be here in just a few minutes for our first meeting. All right. That was a cool intro. Very mellow, very chill. Oh, animation. Mm. Do you want to come too, Angel? Great. I'm excited for this too. I mean, my friends visit me quite often, but it's always extra special when they're around. Plus, Twilight has a library now. I bet she feels really at home in her new castle. Pretty good la What the heck? What was that? Fire? Oh no! There's a fire! Come on, Fire! Fluttershy! Fluttershy! Rainbow Dash was trying to escape the fire, and she couldn't. I think she's hurt. What? Oh boy. Where is she? I need to help her. I don't know exactly, but she's near where the explosion came from. Just run back in that direction. Okay, thank you. Angel, you have to get back to the cottage. It's not safe here. And stay safe. Okay, I forget what I said about the intro being mellow and calm. Wow, this just went from zero to hundred real quick. Oh. Turn. <laughs> Jeez. I can't believe this is happening. Was well, only been five minutes? Eight minutes. Soon. Okay. Every pony needs you, especially your friends. Nurse Redheart. I have some news to tell you, Miss Fluttershy. Oh? What is it? Will she be okay? Rainbow Dash has brain damage. She probably hit her head badly when she fell. Now she's in a coma, and there's not a very good chance she'll wake up. No. No, this can't be. <laughs> I'm so sorry. There's really not much we can do to help her. But remember, there's still a chance she'll wake up again. Even if it's not very big. We just have to pray for that. Okay. Thank you. Why did this have to happen to you? 
How did they even start? Are we getting a song now? <laughs> this is a cute picture. say <laughs> during this part. Fluttershy and poor Rainbow Dash. Jeez, less than ten minutes in, she's in a, she's in a coma. Um, oh, it's Doctor. We have to clear the room so we can perform some tests. Doctor Bronies, apparently. <laughs> okay, I'll leave then. Twilight's probably expecting me at the castle anyway. Oh, yeah, Twilight doesn't even know about this. Be okay, Rainbow. Or does she? Whew. I don't know what's keeping it's heavy. them, Spike. They've never been this late for anything. Maybe they forgot? I don't think they would just forget. Mm. Twilight, I, I have some really bad news. Oh, no! Fluttershy, what happened? Rainbow Dash, she's, she's injured and, and unconscious and... I don't know when she'll wake up there. <laughs> no. But, but, but how? Well, I I was on my way here when I heard a loud explosion and and I saw there was a fire not too far away. And so I started running away, but then Daisy Heart stopped me and said the Rainbow Dash was hurt. And well, I, I just want to know what, it ca what caused that explosion. Lying on the, the ground. I mean, do they have bombs in Equestria? <laughs> or TNT or something? She, she quickly told me to warn the others to stay inside and then she fell unconscious. And then I, I lifted her onto my back and flew to the hospital. But now she's... she's... Oh, I was gonna say before the she's explosion coming off. 
flashlight. That's a good, Please. that's a good flashlight voice. I had to, had to give, I had to say that. Me so I can help. She's in a coma. The doctor said, well, she has damage to her brain and may never wake up again. <laughs> oh no! Don't, don't worry, Fluttershy. She still has a chance. It's all. It's all going to be okay. Oh, I miss her already. I mean, I just visited her, but... Well, we can visit her again. Maybe that'll make you feel better. I, I guess it will. Let's go. All right. Who are the other three? I don't know what we'd do without her. I really, really, really hope she's alright. Me too, Fluttershy. Me too. What happened to her though? Wait, I just realized, if this hurt? is written in... Well, this was written before season 5 started, then that's like... Fire. Three... That's I know, really. Yeah, three years ago. Wow, it just got uploaded a month ago. Wow. Twala! Fluttershy! Get uh, Applejack. Applejack? Is that you? Hurry! Run! What? what now? What's happening? What's going on? No time to waste! Get inside what they... now! What? What's going on? Close your ears and your eyes! This is a big one! Why? Just do it! <sighs> Another one? Pony, all right. What is with these explosions? I think so. That was terrifying. I'm okay, Applejack. Oh, these are really what show accurate drawings. What was that? Take a look. Ah! What happened? I don't know what's been going on, but these weird balls of fire have just been falling from nowhere. They have no clue what starts them. And according to the townsfolk, it's happening all over Ponyville. They're slowly burning Ponyville into pieces, and we don't even know how to stop them. And just look at the wreckage it's out like there. It's like called 2012 of this the piece. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Rainbow Dash. Wait, what was that? Oh yeah, they don't know yet. I have some really bad news. Rainbow Dash has been injured. And probably by one of those fire explosions. Fluttershy found her burned on the street and took her to the hospital. And now she's lying in a coma with damage to her brain. And she may never wake up again. What? what? No. That, that can't be. It's true. No! You mean Rainbow Dash could be? No! Rainbow Dash is our friend! Our best, best friend! She's loyalty! She's an element of harmony! We can't defeat evil without her! We can't see the quest of these random fires without her! Why is this happening anyway? It's the end of the world! Oh, Nelly! Pinkie Pie, calm down! No matter how crazy things might be, and no matter what happens, we cannot lose our heads! <sighs> As for the fires, there must be a logical explanation. Things don't just randomly catch fire and fall from the sky. Yeah, exactly. Well then, what could it- Whoa! whoa! Another one? What in tarnation's happening now? Ah! Is this DJ Khaled's work? like this funny in some way. Oh. Run! Save yourselves! Oh! Oh, holy Equestria! No! Oh, no, 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 no! This can't happen! What am I gonna do now? How are we gonna find out what this does? Ah! Serious? 
Seriously? Are you trying to make me lose my lunch here? We have to get out of here before something comes crashing down on us. There's the door. Any more. Oh, come on, let me out. We can't waste energy. We just gotta wait until it tilts back. And now! Whoa! Pony, all right? I hope. Yep. I'm good. I suppose so. A bit disorientated, but I'm fine. <coughs> oh, great. At least we're all safe, even if the castle is. Oh no! Look! What is it, Spike? That! <gasps> what? What? Did I? Huh? How is that even possible? will just flip itself upside down? Why is all this happening? Ow! Ooh, hot! Ooh, this is good! Want some? Uh, uh, no, thanks. Where did that pie come from? What in tarnation? You've gotta be kidding me. Cake's falling from the sky, too? Ow! 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 This is insane! It just just screams discord. We've got to figure out some way to stop this. Honey, the was being destroyed sense. by fire. He's doing this now after broken laws of physics. But what can we do? Rainbow Dash is down for the count. The cutie map is destroyed, and we don't even know what or who Wait, we're up against. How do you even know about the cutie map? Oh, and that was written before season five stars. Stupid gumballs! It's going to leave a mark. I don't really know what we can do either. But I know some pony who might. What we need to do first, however, is visit Rainbow Dash to make sure she's all right. Good idea. She needs our support. Hey, you guys go off first. I'll catch up later. Oh, wait. Stay safe, Twilight. See you there. What's she so, gonna do? What do we do, Twy? <sighs> Spike, we need to take a very important letter. When? Dear Princess Celestia. Okay, so it's been Ugh. 20 minutes Why and all heck's breaking loose. Happening every single Literally. night. I can't sleep. Everything just feels wrong somehow. Yep, this is a new record. Woohoo. Dream duty's been getting so much more tiresome. So many ponies have been having nightmares recently, and I can't keep track of them all. And of course, to make everything worse, the nightmares don't even make any sense. Dreams are supposed to be somehow connected to ponies' lives, but they aren't anymore. <sighs> Ugh, you know what? I'm going to go get some water. Maybe that'll help. Like a little slippers. Oh, Luna, what brings you here? <laughs> Sorry, sister. I've just. I've been having trouble sleeping. <laughs> I thought some water would help. Luna, you've barely gotten any sleep in the past few weeks. Is something on your mind? Uh, well, no. I really shouldn't trouble you with it. It's none of your business anyway. Plus, you have a lot of other duties to worry about and all of Equestria to maintain, so... Look, Luna, I really hate to remind you of this, but this is the reason I nearly lost you all those years ago. Huh? I can't keep ignoring your problems, no matter how small they are. But sister, it's not that big of a deal, and I don't want to stress you. I promise I won't overstress it. I just have to be aware if something has gone wrong. <sighs> Alright, well, dream duty's been getting more and more stressful and more filled up because so many ponies have been having an endless amount of nightmares. What really hangs in my head is how the nightmares are all so strange and somehow connected to each other, but not to the ponies themselves. For some weird reason, the majority of the dreams are either about fire, water, or ponies being hurt. 
Some of them have been affecting Pony's lives, or even haunting them. And I can barely do anything in the dream realm to help, because the dreams barely make any sense. And even if I tried to help every pony, I wouldn't be able to because there's so many nightmares and I can't keep track of all of them anymore. Hmm. Sorry. I know you can't help and all that, but... Actually, Luna, I've been having nightmares too. Wait. What? What? You have? Why didn't you tell me? I could sense that you were stressed out. And I didn't want to put more of a burden on you. But sister, my duty is to help ponies with their dreams. I'm sorry for not telling you about it earlier. It just didn't seem like a big deal until now. Well then, what are they about? Exactly like you said. Oh no, I was worried that it wasn't a coincidence, and rather, foreshadowing. Luna, I will keep you informed about my dreams. If it'll help you figure anything out. All right. Thank you, my sister. Of course. <sighs> Sorry. Okay, great. With that new information, I'm probably not going to be able to sleep. But still, I'd really better get some rest. What? <laughs> A lesser? Dear Princess Celestia, my friends and I have experienced something that none of us have ever seen before. To Celestia. A ball of fire, seeming to come from nowhere, fell right in front of the Friendship Castle just 20 minutes ago, resulting in an explosion that caused a fire in the Ponyville streets. The fire Three of them actually. to have it under control now, but many ponies have been injured or even killed. Fluttershy had even reported seeing Rainbow Dash burned and injured, presumably from another of these fiery explosions. And on top of all that, the castle is now hanging upside down in mid-air! And cakes, pies, and gumballs are just falling from nowhere! We were wondering if there had been any signs of this happening in Canada. It's a nice picture, by the way. Do you have any idea of what it could be? Your faithful student, Twilight Sparkle. No! Looks like it wasn't a nightmare after all. The dreams. Maybe they weren't dreams at all. More like visions. Visions of the fire and the chaos happening in Ponyville. Maybe even in all of Equestria. Oh, I should have known. I should have paid more attention to it all. But why is this happening? That's what I want to know. I have no idea. I've never seen anything like this before. I need to tell my sister. 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 Oh, goodness. What is it, Luna? A letter from Twilight. It explains everything. I know why all these ponies have been having these dreams. They weren't dreams, but rather visions. Visions that were supposed to warn the ponies of all of this. <gasps> oh no. Does she know? In the midst of movement and chaos, keep stillness inside of you. To pack. Chopra. Just a friend, chaos begins. Yeah, if I got that right, that was a chaotic episode. <laughs> the end. Wow, that. It started right here. It started right here. And went all the way up here in like a minute. Wow. Huge thank you to everyone in my cast. You all worked so hard on this episode, and it really shows. I cannot thank you enough for kindly participating and dedicating your time to this project. I am extremely grateful. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Here we got the credits that were shown in the beginning. Then I got Daisy Hart, played by Blue. Nurse Red Hart, played by Kenzie VA, and Doctor, played by Turning Brunies. Artists. Opening logo, Celestia, scene 1, Life on Cloud 9, scene 2, Question Scratcher, scene 3, Kayla Rose, scene 4, and Song Animatic, Point, and Krina, scene 5, Show Vectors, okay, scene 6, Super Moi, I think, scene 7, Blue, scene 8, Kenzie, scene 9, 
Perry Doodles. <laughs> scene 10, Little Lynx. Scene 11, Equation Sketcher. Scene 12, Draw It Jewel. Ending credits, which I guess is this, Gray Radian, which is a nice picture, by the way. Twilight Sparkle and the Letter of Image. Miotastic, I think it said. And show vectors are all by all these people. Some video clips and images were used. Some video cl clips and images used are property of My Little Pony Friendship with Magic. Songs, Dawn's First Light, like it's written and sung by Celestia, original song for the love of a princess by Celtic Woman. Hope, written by Celestia, sung by Nami and Life of Cloud Nine. Original song, main, dream main theme, World Upon Sadness. My Trust, which is this song. Lyrics written and sung by Celestia. Original song, The Rose by Bette Midler. Story by Celestia, directed by Celestia. And thank you for watching. Wow. That was a very hectic first episode. But I definitely want to see what happens next. And I want to see what Celestia knows. Because it seems like she knows why all this is happening. By the way, she, react she reacted to the to the uh, letter that Twilight sent. But yeah, that title is definitely fitting for this episode because that was wow. All right, well, this end of episode one, and whenever episode two comes out, I'll be sure to react to that too. Until then, my name is Tempo, and I'm out. See ya.